New Relic's REST API allows you to access data programmatically from New Relic products. You can use GET requests to query information, PUT requests to set configuration options, and DELETE requests to remove non-reporting servers and applications. In this video, you'll learn how to enable API access on your account, how to use New Relic's API Explorer to experiment with the API and help you create commands, and where to find more information and examples. Before you can use New Relic's REST API, you must activate API access and generate an API key. To activate API access, from the New Relic menu bar, select your account name, then account settings. Under integrations, select data sharing, and finally, click the API Access tab. If your API key does not appear, select Enable API Access. Note that only account owners and administrators can generate or view an API key. If you're a user or restricted user, ask your account administrator for your API key. Now that you have an API key, you're ready to use the New Relic REST API. To help you learn about the API, New Relic provides the New Relic API Explorer. The API Explorer allows you to browse available API endpoints and use a graphical user interface to experiment with the API. To use the API Explorer, navigate to rpm.newrelic.com slash API slash explore and sign in if necessary. From the menu bar, select the desired account from the drop-down list. Let's start by getting a list of the applications associated with our account. From the list of functions on the left-hand side, select Get List under Applications. Note that your API key is pre-filled automatically. You may optionally provide a comma-separated list of application IDs or programming languages to filter the list of applications. You may also choose to have the data returned in JSON or XML format. As you provide parameter values, the API Explorer shows you the curl command you can use to execute the request, ready to copy and paste into a shell script or terminal window. Of course, you're not limited to using curl. You can use any method you wish to submit REST requests. Windows users, for example, may use the invoke REST method command from PowerShell. After providing the desired parameter values, click Send Request. The response will appear in the format you've selected. Now that we have a list of our applications, we can use an application ID to get more information. Choose one of your applications and copy its ID to the clipboard. Next, select Get Metric Names under Applications and paste your application ID into the Application ID parameter field. Finally, click Send Request to retrieve a list of the metric names your application reports to New Relic. For performance reasons, the New Relic REST API paginates its output. If you scroll to the bottom of your browser window, you may notice that this request did not return the complete list of metric names. To see additional pages, specify a value for the page parameter and submit a new request. Although it's not visible in the API Explorer, the API can return information about the current page of results and the total number of available pages. To see this information, use curl's verbose or dash v options when calling the API from the command line. The verbose option returns links to the first, last, next, and previous pages. Now that we have a list of metric names, we can use the API to download the raw data for one or more metrics. Under Applications, select Get Metric Data. Enter your application's ID and one or more metric names in the Names parameter field. You may optionally specify a time window using the from and to parameters. The default time window is the last 30 minutes. The summarize option returns an average of the data over the specified time period. After providing the desired parameter values, 
click Send Request. In this example, you've seen how to use the API to retrieve a list of your applications, a list of metric names for a single application, and finally, raw metric data for specific metric names. What else can you do with the API? Our product documentation includes dozens of examples showing how to use the API to query data from and manipulate applications, servers, alerts, labels, and more. To access the documentation, visit docs.newrelic.com and search for REST API. In this video, you've learned how to enable API access on your account, how to use New Relic's API Explorer to experiment with the API and help you create commands, and where to find more information and examples.